Welcome Taurus to your reading. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let us see what is coming to you in love. Please remember general readings can be interchangeable and vice versa, okay? What is coming to Taurus in love? What is coming to Taurus in love? Taurus, you have dreaming of you. Can't let go. And also breakthrough, okay? So we definitely have someone here who feels as though they can't let go. Maybe you can't let go. You both can't damn let go. All right. What's coming to Taurus in love, please, Taurus? Knight of Wands reverse. So Taurus, you could be dealing with a Knight of Wands reverse, okay? Or you could be the Knight of Wands reverse. Um, Pisces, Aries or Sagittarius. Yeah, I'm getting this strong energy of somebody. They like to be single. They would prefer to be single. Similar reading to Aries. Okay. And you got the King of Wands reverse. Yikes. Some of you I'm hearing, um, somebody in this situation has had trouble, like, moving on from a situation that has been, like, stagnant. I feel like somebody's mindset is really screwed up here as meaning that i feel like someone's been trying to change the other person's mind and perception like you know i do feel like someone is non-committal they have an intense fear of commitment um and it's, it seems like somebody who really wants to kind of just be single play around play the field and not have to worry about committing to anybody you know it's like i'm hearing no strings attached okay so you're either dealing with a fire sign, more specifically Leo, but I am picking up on Aries, okay, um, Pisces, maybe an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, like yourself. But yeah, I feel like someone's feeling defeated in the situation. Someone feels very let down. They feel disappointed. Um, they're like, well, damn, I guess this is going to be a missed opportunity, you know. Some of you will keep looking back at somebody who you feel maybe wasted your time, okay? Um, but either way, whoever this freak is, is a high risk, low reward, okay? Some of you have put a lot of time and effort into somebody who just is not ready to commit. You know, they may pursue you and come at you all passionate, but then they're just get repulsed and they run away because... What they're afraid of doing is losing their freedom, losing themselves, and committing. Uh, some of them could have their own little traumas and trust issues, which causes them to just run away from any kind of attachment, okay? I'm hearing that it's definitely time to see this person for who and what they are, Taurus. So I do feel like this person, you know, is going to contact you very soon with the Eight of Wands, maybe try to come to see you or whatever. But please understand that it's just them wanting to like be casual with you that's the truth you could be dealing with someone who's a womanizer or somebody who's you know um very promiscuous at this point in time um you know this is somebody who is like a player okay this freak is a player you know this freak is like they could even have like a reckless life a crazy life okay this could be a gangster or some crap like that but there's a problem with this person's mindset and there is no changing it. There is no changing it. And some of you wonder why, like, this person's hot and cold. You know, uh, it seems like one minute they're, they're, they're just giving you all they've got and then the next minute it seems like they've changed up. <laughs> and the reason is because at the end of the day, this is someone who's fears commitment. Um, and I'm also getting that some freak has, like, a lot of options. They do a lot of online dating. You know, it's just a numbers game for them, okay? So don't let this freak gaslight you because they will. They will try to gaslight you um, into thinking that whatever, okay? But the truth is that the root cause of this issue is that this person's emotionally unavailable and they're just a, they're a player at this time, okay? Um, 
I feel like Taurus, you have a lot of love for this person. You you feel very strongly about this person. Um, you have a lot of feelings for them. However, I feel like some of you I'm hearing this freak has made you cry a lot. You know, like you shed a lot of tears. Someone has shed a lot of tears over this person in a situation because they just can't understand why is someone acting so passionate but so uh, scared at the same time. And, and that's why. Yeah, I feel like someone just wants to date around and do their thing, okay? Even if you're in a relationship, this person wants to date around, do their thing, so they could be with you just living a single life, okay? There is some type of deception here. Don't let this freak lead you on, because I'm hearing some of you have already wasted, like, a lot of time with this person, okay? When at the end of the day, maybe all they really need to do is mature and grow up one day, but that's not your deal, Okay? So yeah, this person is definitely going to try to reach out to you here, Taurus. Okay. And yes, it seems like you and this person, you know, make quite quite the match, quite the pair. You feel a lot of chemistry and passion. But what people need to understand is chem chemistry and passion, you need more than just that. Okay. So don't mistake that passion, that good sex, that chemistry or whatever for actual love and um for a true connection guys okay because it's like there's a lot of infatuation in the situation um okay is what i'm feeling so that's what this person is getting ready to do they're getting ready to um reach out to you you know maybe this person may even i hate to say it but they may try to love bomb you quite a bit okay come in and make grand declarations of love and stuff like that uh but at the end of the day um, you know, they may just leave you high and dry again. So yeah, before you waste any more time with this person, Taurus, this is what is important for you to know. Before you waste any more time with them. Where's my Knight of Wands? Ooh, looks like I can't find him. That's weird. Oh, there he is. Yeah. So there's a reason why they give you mixed signals, and it just seems like you can never like get this person to stop. And some of you think that this is a twin flame, or you think they're running away from you. Which, yeah, they are running away. However, the reason why they're running away is because they actually scared of committing to somebody okay this is someone who still wants to play the field and keep their option open um anything else for taurus in this love situation yeah you may not be seeing the truth someone may not be seeing the truth about who this individual is this person's a trickster you know, they know how to get things to go in their favor. They know just what to say. They're probably quite attractive, good looking. You know, they, they know they know how to put on the charm and the charisma. And they will try to do their best song and crappy dance with you, Taurus. Uh, but just understand that you, you should not you should make sure that you're not giving this freak any more of your energy, your time, your patience, your love. Because I feel like someone's taking, 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 but they're not giving anything in return. Okay? It's time for you to realize that about this person in particular because it just seems like you never get to get anywhere with this person. It just seems like it's always going back to the same old, same old crap that they do. And you find yourself in a stagnant cycle with them because this is who they are. You can't change that about them, okay? This is who and what they are. So Spirit is asking that some of you Definitely open your eyes and see the truth. Take the blindfold off, okay? You have Scorpio. So this freak says that they're not ready to change, so you can't change them. This person has deep-seated issues, okay? Ooh, so we have will exploit you or others. So this freak will exploit anybody, <laughs> okay? Be careful. This is a Virgo. Okay, what else we have for Taurus? Um, insecure, low self-esteem. Some of them, 
they probably require a lot of uh, attention and that's why they they always deal with a lot of people because they're they're insecure they have low self-esteem okay they're in that shadow energy so if you don't love yourself and you don't think highly of yourself you're gonna need validation from others you're gonna need attention from other people okay so that's something that's not really gonna change with this freak okay they want to explain but you should not you know you shouldn't let this freak waste any more of your time and you have only want to hook up so this freak is thinking about the old days okay all right so that is what i have for you taurus if this sounds like somebody that you know you know then it's best that you keep this freak away from you and get off the merry-go-round with this person, okay? You just can't change who they are. So it's important that you know about this person and what they're going to do again and again and again. I don't really feel like I need to pull those because it's very self-explanatory. I mean, this is very obvious. All right. So that is what I have for you, Taurus. I hope this reading gave you the uh, clarity or the confirmation that you've been looking for. Okay. Thank you for tuning in, guys, and talk to you soon.